Yeah, while, uh, while you're grabbing that, I'm just going to uh, insert something interesting. Go ahead. But logically, it's more natural to think that they were black Jews than white Jews, mm -hmm. black Jews than white Jews. Mm -hmm. One, because of the Israelites being a Semitic people, so they were not Caucasian. Because of the Israelites being a Semitic people, so they were not Caucasian. The Israelites being a Semitic people, so they were not Caucasian. They we could they wouldn't be Negroid, but they wouldn't be Caucasian. The other thing is the proximity of, of Israel to Egypt, which is part of Africa, which is part of Africa, and, and Israel spending time in Egypt. So as people are scattered, it's gonna make much more sense, right? Just if you're if you're guessing, right, as right. Jewish people begin to be scattered around the world, what's what's gonna be more likely that you have dominant black Jews or dominant white Jews, you think I'm more likely to be, be, be a lot of black Jews, be a lot of black Jews. Whereas for, for many of us growing up, the idea of a, of a black Jew is like, I guess you convert it at certain point. And then we exactly. began to hear about the Ethiopian Jews. Oh, okay. And then like with Jonathan Burnus and Jewish voice and working with the, 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 the Lemba, the Lemba Jews, you know, and then DNA testing, connecting them with, with the, with the priestly gene, you know, or the, and then DNA testing, connecting them with, with the, with the priestly gene, you know, or the, or, or the Levites, et cetera.